Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. We ask our Lord Jesus today to be able to meet her in her full and total surrender to God, so that we might be free to help the poor, and to do acts of charity. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift Saint Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. Most admirable and worthy of everlasting remembrance was the mother who saw her seven sons perish in a single day, yet bore it courageously because of her hope in the Lord. Filled with a noble spirit that steered her womanly heart with manly courage, she exhorted each of them in the language of their ancestors with these words, I do not know how you came into existence in my womb. It was not I who gave you the breath of life, nor was it I who set in order the elements of which each of you is composed. Therefore, since it is the creator of the universe who shapes each man's beginning as he brings about the origin of everything, he, in his mercy, will give you back both breath and life because you now disregard yourselves for the sake of his law. Antiochus, suspecting insult in her words, thought he was being ridiculed. As the youngest brother was still alive, the king appealed to him, not with mere words, but with promises on oath, to make him rich and happy if he would abandon his ancestral customs. He would make him his friend, and entrust him with high office. When the youth paid no attention to him at all, the king appealed to the mother, urging her to advise her boy to save his life. After he had urged her for a long time, she went through the motions of persuading her son. In the region of the cruel tyrant, she learned, she leaned over close to her son and said in their native language, Son, have pity on me, who carried you in my womb for nine months, nursed you for three years, brought you up, educated and supported you to your present age. I beg you, child, to look at the heavens and earth and see all that is in them. Then you will know that God did not make them out of existing things. And in the same way, the human race came into existence. Do not be afraid of this executioner, but be worthy of your brothers and accept death, so that in the time of mercy, I may receive you again with them. She had scarcely finished speaking when the youth said, What are you waiting for? I will not obey the king's command. I obeyed the command of the law given to our fathers through Moses. But you, who have contrived every kind of affliction for the Hebrews, will not escape the hands of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. My steps have been steadfast in your paths. My feet have not faltered. I call upon you, 
for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. But I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Please all stand. my feet and a light on my path. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, we do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, He had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it, stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words, I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today teach us about the experience of loss. 
ang mga pagbasa po natin ngayong araw ay tungkol sa mga bagay na nawawala sa atin o kinukuha sa atin. And the readings today teach us how do we understand loss in our lives? How are we able to bear loss in our experiences? Paano nga ba natin makakaya ang karanasan na mawalan ka? Sa panahon po ngayon ng pandemya na ito, marami sa atin ay nakakaranas ng mawalan. Mawalan ng trabaho, mawalan ng kita, mawalan ng hanap buhay, mawalan ng kapamilya o mahal sa buhay dahil sa sakit. Our first reading today from the book of Maccabees teaches us today of the experience of a mother who in one day lost seven sons because of persecution. And how did this mother bear the loss of seven sons in one day? She said in the first reading today that I recognize that it is not I who brought you, my sons, into this world. I do not even know how you were formed in my womb, how the elements worked so that there is a baby in my womb. I know that it is not I, but it is God who formed you in my womb. And therefore, because it is God who is the source of everything, even the source of my sons, therefore, I can bear even the loss of all of you because I know, he, she said, that God will bring you back to me. Hindi po ba't napakaganda ng kanyang sinabi? Sabi niya, kakayanin ko ang pagkawala ninyo sapagkat alam kong hindi naman talaga kayo sa akin. Ang Diyos ang nagbigay sa inyo sa akin. At kukunin man kayo sa panahon na ito, Alam ko, sabi niya, ibabalik rin kayo ng Diyos sa akin. My dear brothers and sisters, if we recognize that God is the creator and source of everything, then we are sure that what was lost, God will bring back. Siya ang pinanggalingan. Siya ang may likha ng lahat ng hawak natin at mawala man ang isa sa mga ito, may ibabalik ang Diyos. Hindi siya magkukulang. The Gospel reading today about the coins, the gold coins given to the servants is also a lesson of losing something but also regaining it back. That is why the king in the parable praised the servants who were able to risk to lose the gold coins, to trade them in business, to keep them in a bank because they trusted that the gold coins are not theirs. It is the king's gold coins. And the servants who were able to risk and lose the gold coins were given back even more of the coins that they had before. My dear brothers and sisters, let us put our trust in God. Recognize that everything comes from Him. And when we are able to recognize that God is the source of everything, 
even if when we lose something, even if when we lose someone, we can bear it courageously because we know that the Creator, the source of everything, will bring back what was lost. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the feast of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. She was a queen. She was member of the royalty. She was rich. But she surrendered everything, even her own riches and treasures. Because she was sure that even her crown, even her queenship came from God. She surrendered everything, became a member of the Franciscan Third Order, and she served the poor. She surrendered her royalty. God brought back not just her treasures, but real treasures. God brought back to her the poor, the real treasures of God. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let us put our trust in our Creator, the source of everything. And even if when we lose something or someone, let us bear it courageously because we trust that whatever was lost, God will bring back. Amen. Please all stand. Gathered together as sons and daughters of God the Father, who is the giver of all good things, we reverently make our prayer. And for every petition, let us say, Father of goodness, bless us. Father of goodness, bless us. that the Church may not be afraid of the challenge of renewal and may the many different gifts entrusted to her be put to fruitful use. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness bless, bless us. That all people may share in the earth's resources, in justice, unity, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness Bless us, that we may have a deeper appreciation of the importance of our ordinary lives and that we may realize how the love of God can flow from our little acts of kindness. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of goodness, goodness, bless us, that doctors, nurses, and those in the caring profession may use their gifts to bring God's or Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of goodness, goodness bless, bless us, us. That the blessed dead may join the Master's eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness, bless, bless us. us. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be trusted with greater things when we come into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Elizabeth, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers, Sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Elizabeth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through christ our lord amen tonight at 9 p.m we again invite all of you to join us in the praying of the healing rosary for the world and tonight we will be led by the order of the augustinian recollects in the province of saint ezekiel moreno here in the country and we will be praying in front of nuestra senora de la salud our lady of good health and this image this old image was originally enshrined here in intramuros in the church of the augustinian recollects inside intramuros and this image survived the second world war and the image is uh, invoked for health especially those who have sickness and disease and so i think this evening the praying of the healing rosary for the world will be really meaningful for many of us as we continue our lives in the midst of this pandemic so we invite everyone to join us tonight again at 9 p.m. to pray the healing rosary for the world in front of Nuestra Señora de la Salud. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.
God our Father for helping our need. Ave, 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 